I'll do time for another beer review. For this one, we are going back to salt, and this is Sea Sucker, a sour IPA coming in at 4.3%. Um, has the regular salt artwork with the yellow and green honeycomb background. It reminds me of the Blockbusters board from the 80s quiz show. So, salt are uh, out of salt air, and um, I've had see a sucker before there's there's been two versions in the past that were kettle sours and i had one and i thought it was okay um jb at northern southern b reviews has reviewed one of the versions of the previous release so this is a new one that's just came out so this is like the third um version of it really so sour ipa um, it says on the back it says a session strength sour ipa Dank hop notes of green mango and citrus fruit are followed by a zesty sour finish. It says the malts are pale and oats and it says the hops are citra and simcoe. So we'll get this out and see what we get. So yeah, you probably will be familiar with salt beers if you're living in the UK, especially because they are getting very widely available in the supermarket. So the iCat and the... There's the, what was the one, the Juper or something, I can't remember the name on top of my head. Anyhow, um, so beer glass, that's a very hazy lemon yellow, um, real fizzy carbonation. I can hear it hissing away in the glass. I've got a very slight white head that doesn't look like it's going to hang around, but I can't see any carbonation going up to it with the haze. Right, let's get the nose. There is a subtle mango in it, and there is a slight um, pine resinous um, aroma coming off. There's a slight lime in there, and it, it does smell slightly tart, but doesn't smell overtly tart. There's not a big acidity coming off it. Red. Yeah, mango is the real... Um, fruit that's coming out the most. Okay, let's go in for the glug. Cheers. It's an okay beer at first sip. I'll go in again. body is slightly thin and there's an initial burst of carbonation as it enters the mouth you get this slight fizz as you first take a sip but it does kind of rapidly fade out flavor wise I'm picking up mango I'm picking up a hint of the lime um, there is a slight tartness on the finish and then you get like a biscuit malt coming out in the aftertaste. It just doesn't pack a big flavour. Um, like I said, the, the mango's there but it's a slight and then you just get this acidity and it just kind of just tapers out really. Um, it's 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 an all right beer. I'm not blown away with it, but I think it's um, safe and steady. So, yeah. I think I'd agree with them when they're saying it's a sour right here. You are getting um, a lot of the um, fruity flavours off the hops, and then you get that slight acidity on the finish. So yeah, I'd agree with them that it's a session sour, 4.3%. It kind of tastes its ABV as well. So yeah, um, all in all, it's a, it's a, an average solid beer, nothing spectacular. So um, that is Sea Sucker, a sour IPA. It's like I say, it's a steady one. So um, thanks for watching and... Up to the next one.